Uh, welcome back to Let's Play Light A Eleven in School. How long has it been? <laughs> I forget when I last recorded. Will it show? No, of course not. <laughs> well, I did upload the uh, previous part this morning. Uh, I say this morning, it's still technically the morning. <laughs> but yeah, I, I kept like rewinding a bit. It's like, okay, which diary entries, where, what am I doing, where am I going? I should have written them down, if anything. No, I'm not going to do that. I was thinking of writing down every entry that I've got. But for now, I'm just going to assume the ones I missed are in the science lab, biology lab, and art room. So those are the ones I got to look out for. Pretty much done with the new building for now. We can also, you know, advance the plot as well while we're at it at long last. You don't say you can recover health points and heart rate by using healing items. Who'd have thought? Oh my god, it's dark as shit. Can't see a damn thing. It doesn't help because like because it's connected to up to the uh caps guard, the brightness is really odd. Like I turned up the saturation or whatever I it was that I put up. So that it looks, you know, possible to see it. But man, it doesn't do much, really. Makes it a lot darker. It's not like I'd be able to freaking see where I was going. If this was just like, you know, n normally linked up. But because it's linked with the Caps Guard, it makes it dark as shit. It's gonna be a pain in the ass now I think about it. For a certain bit that'll be coming up with the box. Oh, he's here. Hmm. 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 There seems to be someone here, but I do not see them. So, we've got third floor and fourth floor to look at, really. And of course, second floor. I need to get the faculty office too, in order to advance the plots. Oh, for God's sake, this guy! Look, Mr. Janitor, there is no one here. This person walking in into you is not actually standing there. And that's really, you should just doodle on the wall. Just add to your collection. Got nothing else to do. Trouble is, his hearing range is ridiculous. So if I open that door, he'll come charging at me. So I gotta wait until he's out of range. Start with the fourth floor. You'd be less likely to follow me here, presumably. So 
So I overlooked a note somewhere in here. There it is. 1995, 11, 29, nothing is solved. I feel more pressure. I don't know what to do. I'm living a life for others again. My eyes feel strange. I'm thirsty again. So that's 11, 29. Why is that between? That's... And then, now I know. Wait, is that it? I wonder, I, I remember hearing that there's like a prequel of sorts being made, so I'm not sure if they're still making it or not. But I have heard that it was Bing. They, I don't know. So I wonder if maybe, uh, how do I, there we go. if maybe the uh, story they're telling there with all its vagueness is maybe set for a prequel. Nineteen ninety-eight seven one. I prepared another vase. Going to keep selling our soul in one and the living soul in another. If something goes wrong, I will put the living soul back into the body. I will simply number two in C minor resurrection. Uh alright, whatever. How does that even work though? <laughs> Hope I'm not gonna end up overlooking shit here. Cause there's a very real possibility. I I did kind of like pay attention to what I said in the previous part, like towards the end. I was like paying close attention, I was like, okay, what entries am I missing? Like location wise. So I narrowed it down to, you know, the art room, the biology room and the science lab. But, for all I know, there could be some more I'm missing. Oh, there is. Oh, a spell. The yin-yang token for exposing demons. So, basically, a shyness in the demon's face, and they're like, ah, and then there's a hallway. Wait, maybe that, that's gonna be the uh, hallway that leads to the auditorium. So I think we got all those now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Unless there's a twelfth one, which I doubt, we got all the spells. Man, it's so incredibly dark, isn't it? How could he be here, though? Maybe he's still on the third floor, which will be a pain in the ass for me, because that's where I need to go. He's gone to the third floor, hasn't he? Yep. Oh, 
Well, I guess so. What's this? Janitor, bring a mop down here. Seems to be a village of some sort. Right, so factory office two. Three, four doors down. Ah! Picked him out of nowhere. One, two. I feel like there was no build up there. It just like, bam, there she was. Right. So let's uh, use that thing. So 30, 30, 20, 25, wait no, 30. I think it'd be 30, 20, 25, I've never seen a lock like this before. How do I open it? Wait, I think I got that wrong. Yep. It's supposed to be 20, then 25. Wait, no, 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 it's 30 first, wasn't it? 30? 20? Inside? <laughs> well, <laughs> that was abrupt. There's something in the bars. I'm just now realizing I'm advancing the plot here. I haven't picked up the other thing. Pottery and all pottery made by the music teacher. 1998 seven, seven. I put the asthma inhaler in advance so that song I can't come out of it. She can't be seen by others until the ritual is over. It's all well and good and all, but uh, I'm not going to be able to go to the third floor now. You'll see why. She is Sungha's mother! So this bit requires us to stealthily follow her. Which is, uh... Not too tough, but it can be. And if you, like, wander off, she will suddenly detect you and kill you. Which makes no sense. She also does that a bit, so you gotta help the artist side when she does that, or she will charge at you. You know what, actually, maybe I could. 
What room was it again? Yeah, science lab. Can't remember if it was in the supplies office or the science lab itself, though. At the same time... <laughs> Kinda curious... ...about something. It's not in there. So I'm probably gonna get killed doing this, but... I'm very curious. <laughs> I've never actually seen her when she enters that room. I guess she was looking for the music teacher and he's not there. Come on in! <laughs> I thought I might as well you know, show what happens when she like spots you. And she'll do that also if you wander off somewhere else, even though you're nowhere in range of her sight. She'll just track you down and kill you. It makes no sense. So when she uh, goes to the music room, I'll try to uh, get to the uh, uh, <laughs> science room storage, I guess. See if I can pick up the yellow note. <laughs> If I play the game, this is different, you know. Everything else is kind of being like a couple of puzzles here and there, avoid the janitor all the time, and that's about it. <laughs> Curious, like no, now you've got to follow the distraught uh, mother who is, you know, kind of uh, lost it a lot. And will kill you on sight. So you have to keep your distance and also keep out of range of her sight. <laughs> oh shit! I was not expecting that. Look at that place you got me. <laughs> Just peek around the corner. You know, that's annoying thing. Some games have that, don't they? Where they can kind of peek around a corner. I don't think this game has that kind of mechanic. Or if it does, I simply haven't paid attention to it. <laughs> Blasted traps! No water! No water... I wonder why she's trying to get the tap to work, actually. <laughs> you know, it's not even been mentioned at all outside of this. That Sunga seems to have asthma. Yeah. 
By the way, when I said that the game has a few pain in the ass bits in uh, G Min's route, this is one of them. She freaks out a lot like that. Well, not a lot, but she does from time to time. Just stop and kind of scream or turn around and kill you. There it is. 1998, 725. The soul of living is in the bars. There's a way. If I figure out what is wrong, I can bring her back to life. I think that's all the diary entries. I think she passed by, right? Nope. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to see! Uh, if it wasn't for the fact that I've tried to pick up a bloody freaking diary entry, this wouldn't be a problem. And I could backtrack to get it after this whole thing, but it'd be awkward to do it <laughs> at that point. This bit goes on a while as well, I know. <laughs> like, I guess she's looking for the music teacher, can't find him in the music room. And then she'll head to another area, which we haven't got to that point yet because she keeps killing me. <laughs> it takes a while for her to turn around after doing that as well. So if you, she's not in sight where you can actually see her, it becomes a little bit annoying. Keep it from this angle, we should be able to get around.
You gotta keep close as well, otherwise she will, you know, detect that you're following her somehow and will, you know. Okay, that is an awkward animation. I don't think you were supposed to move all the way down there while doing that. But if you get too far away from her, she will just somehow detect you and charge at you. Fair play to the voice actress though, she's got like the insanity down quite well there, she just sounds like she's completely lost it. See, she's gonna be heading to the new building by that hallway. That's when things are gonna be a slightly trickier because of how bloody dark the game looks. You know what I mean? Now I don't know which direction is which. Okay. Surprised she doesn't detect you from the light, like. It looks eerie like that, doesn't it? Just awake, just kind of walking into complete darkness. Yep, that's the last bit. I think. Wait, nope, it isn't. <laughs> Good thing I fucking stopped. <laughs> it's hard to see where you're going because it's completely. complete blackness. It's because of uh, the. Uh, I, I don't know why the capture card makes it look darker than it actually is. But that's kind of why it looks so dark here. It's like playing the game normally, it's not this dark. Yeah, there we go. Then she'll just kind of mysteriously already just leave the area. 